my deal, remember? Leave the talking to me. All right, Clark? I said leave the talking to me. All right, Clark? Billy, Bobby, ready to stimulate the Welsh economy? Clark in. That, my boys, is Chateau Neuve du Pop. Or, as it's known in the wine world, the dog's bollocks. <whistles> Chateau Neuve. Oh, yeah. No, oh, well. <laughs> you don't drink wine, Billy. You forgetting Uncle Malcolm's engagement. I was on it all night. You were 15, and you ended up in A&E. I was thirsty. Anyway, this boot sells at Asda for fourteen ninety nine. I flog it to you for a fiver, you flog it on for a tenner, you do the math, boys, it's win-win, nobody loses. And a hundred bottles are yours. We're in. Are we? But I'll need the cash up front to seal it. All 500. 500? We're a catering company. You're not cowing odd bins. Uh, let me check with the office. I'm busy. Dad, clock says five for a bottle. Yeah, clock's a petty thief with one hand bigger than the other. You're a tucker. Haggle. Let's haggle. 500 or piss off. Fine, we're in. Right. Come on, get a shift on you late. And remember, I got a meeting with your head teacher after school. I don't know what the problem is. I'm hardly there. That's her problem. Drax! We're up. Right. You know somebody put glue on this seat yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Half hour I was stuck on it outside the post office. In the end, I had to go and catch my jerry with my pants. I did. Yeah. I'm a tolerant man, all right? You know that, but I want some git strung up and dried for this now. My, my nerves are in bits now. Bits. I'm late for school. No, wait, hang on. Stop, please. You, it's obviously a kid's prank, yeah? OK, so I need you to be my foot soldier, yeah? Just help me, OK? You can be my eyes, my ears, my nose to the ground, all right? How much? Eh? Hey? Let's haggle. Haggle? With fam Jesus, with with fa with family. Come here. It's a quid. Get on with you. Tenner. Tenner. Three quid. Fiver. Fiver. Oh. All right, done. Just go. Having a recycling day, Peg. I thought you're Italian. Stallion was supposed to move in yesterday. Yeah, so did I. I know. It must be hard for you. Him not leaving his wife like he promised. No, it's not that. Constantly being his bit on the side. I'm not his bit on the side. Done up like I'm mourn for him. Trod on like a mat. Used and abused. Laughing stock of the village. Well, I'm in all day today, so if you want to pop over for a bit of cheering up, you know what I am. Yeah, thanks, Peg. Roberto, it's me. No, say nothing. Just listen. Yeah, you left your watch here yeah, and some CDs. I want my door key back. Put it through my letterbox when you come and pick up your stuff. It'll be in a little box outside with dickhead written on it. Five hundred quid. Do I look like Melania Trump's to you? I say no. It's too much money. You should have haggled, boy. Yeah, watch me negotiate next step. Learn from the master. Trust me, I know this stuff will sell. We all put a hundred in each, and I'll get you two hundred back by the end of the day. Oh, come on! Clock's clock is ticking, and we'll miss out if we don't get a waggle on. Fine. I'm in. Go on, then. My invalidity came in yesterday. All right. But that still leaves us hundred short. I'll go next door and ask Nats. Oh, yeah, and your ex-wife is going to hand over a ton to you, is she? Wife! Not ex-wife! Not yet! 
Not if I can help it. Right, Nats? I'm busy, Bobby. I've come to ask look you. Look at the state of that eye. Perhaps bare knuckle boxing isn't for you, eh? How the hell did you lose that one? He was deceptive. He was blind, Bobs. Partially sighted. You had to wear a bell so we'd know where you were. You finished? No, I need you to go and see Shakira's head teacher after school. Why? Because it's your turn. I, fine, if it helps. What would really help is this month's maintenance, Bobs. I'm all over that. Yeah. What's this? A nectar card with 5,000 points on it. That's 25 quid, Bobs. Anything else? Yeah. I was wondering if you could lend me a hundred quid. Out. Ten, three twenty, three thirty, three forty. Well, that's it then. We can't do it. What about Grandpa Murphy? I ain't be listening to you. You'll get toffee from a turnip if we get coin from my brother, good boy. You could do it, Dad. Hey? You're the great negotiator, eh? Well, well yeah. Yeah, I'll, um... All right, I'll go and see Murphy. Want me to come with you? No. Learn from the master? No. No, just, uh, no. I'll handle this for myself. Murphy! Murphy! Murphy, do you want to come in on a deal? Can you see what I'm doing here, Glenn? Yeah, yeah, you're reading, yeah. Wrong. I'm studying. Studying form. Looking for a winner to help my Peggy. And you know why? There we go. Because some lazy lumber lad can't provide for his family. Well, come now. He's not out there looking for work. Grafting for his kin. That's why I'm here. Now, when I was young and strong and travelled the land, as man was meant, I'd be out from dawn till dusk to put bread on the table. Not riding around on a little bike like a sack of shit to fiddle the social. Come to offer you 100 quid. Go on. Hiya. Yeah, what time do you finish work this afternoon? We'll try and knock off a bit early. You up for a night on the lash? Yeah? That's my girl. Yeah, see you then. Now you listen to me. And you listen to me, God. I don't get that 200 tonight. I'm gonna be shoving this somewhere. I'll stop you riding your little bike. Ever again. I'll be shoving it very slowly. Get it? Yeah, got it. Right. Hold your hands there. Eh? Hey? Hold them out. Fifty. One pound. Fifty. Two pound. Fifty. Three pound. Are you taking the piss? It's all money, innit? I'm not running a sweet shop, Billy. Not my problem, ego. A deal's a deal. Can you say? That's a lot. But this is Chateau Neuf. It could be shot my pants for like it. I don't sell much wine, boys. Think of the markup, my Melvin. You'll squeeze ten glasses out of that, two quid a pop, and you'll be putting a tenner in your back paw for every bottle you flog. Go on and give us two. Ah, the boy. Go get us two crates, Bobby. Whoa there, sugar. Who said anything about crates? Two bottles, I'll take. Bottles? Christ, Melv, I was counting on you. Well, you can count off me and get me two bottles. Fine. Uh. Knackered, eh? Knackered. I could sleep on a chicken's lip. Well, 
You're hardly rushed off your feet. Well, that's the point. I'm so dead during the day, I've had to take on another job. Stripping. Stripping? Yeah. Joined an agency. Ain't that a booking yet? Apparently, I'm very niche. Right. Here's two bottles. Just 98 to go. Mind if we use your car park, Mel? Go on in. Lynn. I'm busy. Got a bit of news. On my scooter. But it'll cost you. I paid you this morning. My eyes, my ears, my nose, remember? Yeah, but you said nothing by your mouth. That's another fiver. Three quid. Five. Four. Five, I'm saving. Spill, spill. I've spoken to some of the older kids at school. And? And they know nothing. See you, love. See you, Nan. Take it. Want to buy some wine? Piss off from 12. This is bloody ridiculous. Well, instead of moping about, why don't you do as I ask and try and shift somewhere in the shops? Fine. Clock. You've got to buy some of that stock back. I really didn't need 100. What stock? The wine you know bed. What would I be wanting to buy wine for? Can't stand the stuff. I'm a beer man. You know that. But... Not my problem, amigo. A deal's a deal. We just can't shift it, Dad. There's only one thing for it. I'll do a door to door. No. No, please, Dad. No, no, you, you promised you stopped all that. I was peddling before you were born, good boy, and I'll peddle again. It's in my blood. Yeah, so's half a bottle of gin. Just sit down now. Leave it now. No. no not, not the shop. Please, not the bloody shawl. No. Just leave the shawl at the. Oh, dear God. I... Still gonna get my 200 tonight? Yeah, of course. It's, uh, it's on the way up yeah, now yeah, as we speak, isn't it? Perfect. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? You hate being inside. No, I've come for a rag. Gonna oil my shotgun. Never know when I'm gonna need it next. Eglin. Oh. What are we gonna do, Dad? I'm thinking now. Can you see me? I'm thinking here. Thinking about you. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Len. Lynn Tucker. A long time. Other boys. Fancy a nice bottle of red? Jesus Christ. Only a ten, eh? I'm a vodka shot skill. He knows that. Oh, come on, man. I only sold one bottle and I was to Beryl, school secretary. But she's in recovery. Not anymore, she's not. Oh, go on then. I'll open it for some pre drinks with us. The other one from work, with the orange legs and the skirt up to her arse. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. She looks like she can put it away. Let's talk numbers. Here we go. Here's the address. And they bought the lot? Like I said, boys. Watch and learn, yeah? Watch and learn, eh? Oh. Ah. Right. So how many bottles are we talking here? Ten? I'll have to win. We've got to show the men we united. So let's say eight, is it? One, I says. I tell you what, I'll do you a deal. Four for 30 quid. Peg, it's one and it's for nothing. Like you say, we're united, eh? All girls together. Hiya! Oh. Right. I was lush. She can't make it. Bitch. Bitch. Under 80, under 90, 200. There we go. As promised. Well, I must say, I'm surprised. Why is that? Everything your father touches turns to shit. He's come good this time, thanks this Len O'Donnell bloke. You telling me you sold to Red Len? Red who? Red Len O'Donnell. Yeah, why? There's a reason we haven't dealt with Red Len for years. He's a dangerous man. Relax with the tuckers. We can handle things. <laughs> 
His sons enjoy violence, you see, Billy. Violence? They hurt people for fun. And there was a bloke who was so viciously beaten. He was six months in hospital. Because he sold them a microwave that didn't work. A microwave? Didn't have a ping on it. A ping? Never went ping. Drove Len mad. Six months? No ping. Right. Well, thanks for that. Better get back to the party, like. It's too late to move. So I said to him, look, Roberto, you're using more bloody shampoo than I am. Oh, his hair always smells nice, though. You've got to give him that. It is lovely. Lovely. He does wonderful things with couscous, too. He's a, he's a proper modern man. You know, he's sensitive and talented and gentle. So you're doing the right thing, chucking him out? There we go. One bottle left. Time to celebrate with a little drop of shat. Cheers. 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 Down the hatch. Up yours. <laughs> <laughs> this is vinegar and piss, boy. If Red Len takes this, we have had it. Red Len, please don't tell me you've sold to that psycho. Psycho? Yeah. He had a bloke smashed up once because he didn't have a ping. 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 You bought this catch tree from Clark. I've tried it. Are you telling me that rather than give me maintenance, you've given money to a man in a lockup with one hand bigger than the other? Right. I'm going to sort this now. But you can't just. Shut it, wine boy. Peg, you hold the fortune. You, Wimmy, now. Melvin, you've seen Clark? Oh, I, I seen him all right. He had a belly full of beer, which he paid for with a load of 50 p's, and started booking on holiday on his phone. Happy as a pig in mucky was. Billy? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Red Len's on his way up the valley. Sit down! He said he'd be here by five. Can't we just give him the cash back? This is Red Len, Bobby. It's not about the money. His pride has been damaged. He thinks we're taking the mick. He's going to go total taunt, though, isn't he? When he rang, he said he wanted the two gormless gets that sold him the stuff. And the fat, useless lump that put him up to it. Does he know how ill I've been? That's not fat. Tension, that is tension! Let's hide in the club for a bit. That's the first place you look. Bookies. That'll be the second. I'll cover for you, but you'll have to find somewhere he doesn't know. Does he know he's married? <laughs> Tell me you're joking me. Bobby Kitchen. What the hell do you think you're doing bringing trouble to this house? Sorry. I want you to know that I... It's all right, Dad. It's not your fault. Totally hold you responsible for this mess we're in. Me? Yeah. What the hell were you doing buying from Clock? He told me he got it from a reputable source. Yeah. Who? Harry Wumball. Harry Wumball is a scaffolder with one ball. What the hell does he know about fine wine? One ball. Jesus. Harry Wumball. You look nice, by the way. Don't stop, Bobby. Yeah. You're doing the right thing, Nats. It's nothing to do with you. Well, he'll never leave his wife for you. You don't know him? Well, I know he's using you. And it breaks my heart. 
Anyway, how was the meeting with Shakira's head teacher? Huh? The meeting? You promised you'd go straight after school. Oh, aye. Uh, yeah, that. That was fine. And? What was said? Just that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all been sorted now. What's been sorted? You know, the, the thing that it was. It's been sorted. He seems like a nice bloke. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, cos when I spoke to him at 8 o'clock this morning, he seemed like a nice woman. Had a sex change, has he? I didn't go. One thing I asked you to do. One thing! You know, it must be me. I must speak funny. Cos when I said go and see Shakira's teacher, you obviously heard, go and flog some piss to Anetta. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with you? Red lens next door. You know it's nothing personal, Peg. I know that, Len. Come in. I can't hear him. I can. And me. Me too. He's saying his beef's not with Nan, it's with us. Especially the fat, thick and useless one. The bloke's a disgrace. He's talking about you now, Dad. Well, I can see Len. They're not here, and I don't know where they are. So you've had a bit of a wasted journey. Oh, I don't know. I saw Glyn Scooters park next door. Well, I had to use it. What if somebody shot me to the social? Leg it. Come on, boys, let's face them. Come on, Tucker, you've been asking for this. It's got nothing to do with it. Don't touch me! Len. Murphy. You got a problem? Looks that way. Come inside. Just me and you. Too late for that. My family's been taken for mugs. My boys are going to take it out on those two. And, uh, jabber the gut there. If they lay a finger on any of them, I'll have the filth you so quick, they'll be popping their roids in the big eggs for the next five years. We're small fries, yeah. But I'm sure if they started to look into your dealings, who knows what they'd find, eh? Like I said, Len, why didn't you step inside now? We'd sort this all out. Huh? Billy, fetch Mr. O'Donnell's money. Not for me, it's for him. You be lucky, Jack. Get the car. We're going home. See? Nobody's getting hurt. But the wine stays with Len. Why? Just like vinegar. And apparently he's got a contact who'll buy it. Takes any old shit. Harry, someone. Harry one more. That's it. Harry. Gee.
Meu filho. Thanks. Sorry about today, Nan. What's that? I feel like I let everyone down, like. Hey, don't you ever talk yourself down. You're a tucker. You were trying to make some money for the family, that's all. But I bossed it up. Aye, you did that. But we're fine. We live to fight another day, yeah? Night, Nan. Night, love. Sorry about the meeting with your headmistress. Don't worry about it. Well, at least you were there. Good kids. Proud of you. Ta, I'm off to cheese. He's got a new snake. Mum, it's Roberto. Thanks. Bloody hell, Roberto's next door. He's there to collect the stuff. Mm. Natalie's talking with him. See the way she handled that today? Still cares about me, see. He's holding her face now. No, we've got a lot of history. You can't just write that off. <sighs> They've gone inside. It was the way she looked at me today. There's still something between us. <sighs> I can feel it. There's something there. Yeah, there's some in there, all right, Bob's. So. 